Okay, the wait is over. Uh, to get right into it, this is a quick unboxing and setup of my Warbird D, which is the base and gimbal uh, Hostess bundle, bundled with the Constellation Alpha Primes, left and right stick, uh, Hostess being hands on stick and stick. This will be my first Hostess setup, and um, I've, I've been flying on controller and rudder pedals from Star Citizen. So uh, we ordered this back in March and got it early July. So seems like a long wait, about four months, but it was back ordered. So if you're ordering something back order, you know it's gonna take a little time. But the quality and precision of what you receive, well I can't really compare because I haven't used anything, but I want to say unmatched. They gave me a little gift here which I was more excited about that. I know everything else is coming, so let's go ahead and get into this. Purple Controls coffee mug. It's the little things that matter. Uh, thank you, Verple, for all your hard work and my little gift here. I appreciate it. My new favorite coffee mug. There we go. So that was a little, little extra surprise there. Thank you, guys. And, um, I'm not gonna unbox everything. I just want to do, I just wanted to do a quick inventory when I got it, and then set it up immediately. So, this is just a first look at what what we're seeing here. We got the gimbal and the base here. Um, that base comes in four four sections. So I couldn't find the other two at first, but they were in the box, all packed in a box, and then in their own separate boxes. And you can see the foam and everything they use inside. Packed nice and tight. Upon inspection, I didn't find anything damaged. Now, I did not know that it came with extra springs and uh, cams. So we bought some uh, just to save on the weight in case we needed some on the fly or something like that. But, uh, but we got plenty of spare parts now. And there's the two pieces to the base if I found at first. They're actually right on the front there. Yeah, they connect like that. It looks like it'll be pretty stable as far as it sticks out. And there we have the Warbird D base and gimbal. It feels a little tight when you're when you're pulling them like that, but when the stick gets on there and it gives a little bit of leverage, it's it not only feels good right out of the box, but it's also adjustable. And this is what we're waiting for. This is the left constellation, Alpha Constellation Prime. Constellation Alpha Prime grip. Somewhere online, I saw that it didn't come with the the hex keys anymore. But here you go. There's two. One to adjust uh, on the base and the Z axis if you want to tighten it or loosen it, and the other to uh, to fasten down the grip once you get attached to the base. The shorter one there. Which don't skip that step. I did skip that step, and when I was testing the Z, I I moved it a little past. But that reminded me, and then it was no trouble after that. Tightened it right up. And here we are. Constellation Alpha Prime. So since I ordered this, they actually have an all-in-one now. So um, it's a little bit cheaper. But yeah, I'm glad I got the Alpha Primes. And I'll... Uh, they feel nice in the hand, so there you have it. A little bit of clicking. Uh, I don't know if it came off well on the on my audio here. It's just filmed with my my phone, but yeah, clicks feel good. Buttons feel nice. I 
and then I'll show you a little bit of, of what the desk mount looks like. Um, comes in two boxes. You have the actual mount, and then you have the the base plate. So you can use the desk mounts for other things, apparently. This is the desk mount S, and and the adapter for the Warbird base. It adjusts easily like this, clamps on. I needed a little bit more room, so I adjusted it. So yeah, you don't have to take that rubber knob off unless you're gonna change the bolt. But basically, you just wanna take these two nuts right here, the long one and the short one, loosen them and then separate them. And you can move that big one up and down to give you more or less space if you need it and then just tighten them back up, screw it in, and you're good to go. Make sure you put that rubber stopper back on. And then it locks into place uh, very securely. That's kind of a curved edge I have right there in the corner desk it wasn't completely straight but um, it was right up against the edge and locked into place nice and tight you can give it a little shake there secure and it feels really good so uh, with the base plate I, I ended up uh, putting the adapter on wrong that bottom plate I had upside down but I caught that uh, beforehand I just wanted to go off the box to see which way the screws were but if you go to their website um, you can see manuals for all their products uh, there and tell you everything you need to install it and how to install it properly so we got it in and then uh, my thoughts were I would I wanted to attach that base plate to the gimbal first and then and then attach it rather than try to hold the gimbal up there and attach it that way so i think either way will work and it'd probably be easier if you didn't do it with the mount locked in on the desk you can do it sideways or or something like that um but yeah then we went ahead and attach the flight stick you can pull this cable out a little bit to give you room to connect the pins together. Uh, I don't know if that was going to focus or not, it doesn't, but you can definitely see the pattern and easily match it to the gimbal. Same pattern there, which also you can't see. Sorry about that. I tried to do it all here, but I had to get a little bit closer, so I think I, I did it on my lap. Um, lined them up here, but then just secured it in my lap. And they tell you to make sure that black base is secure all the way down. And then you can um, screw it in. And after that, that's where you want to use that Allen wrench and, and fasten it securely. I was just being a little extra cautious here because I, I heard some horror stories where people bent their pins and stuff like that, but I actually had no trouble with it at all. Once you pull that cable out a little bit, it gives you a little room so that you can get the pressure you need to get it down in there. Secure all right, all the way around, and there we go. Um, as easy as this seemed, it, it was thanks to a lot of you guys. I'll put some descriptions in below of uh, Nubifier being one, especially the one who just guided me through 
the setup with the software so so yeah I'll throw some links down in the description below but I'm sure if you guys are uh, looking to get some Alpha Constellation Primes or interested in Verpal I'm sure you found all the videos and yeah a lot of them are very helpful so thank you guys all right so that's it and we'll get straight to the setup now oh we're gonna power it up first if you notice I have the uh, the USB hub in the back that's a powered USB hub because again I saw some people with issues um, if they didn't use a powered one that you couldn't get the their sticks to turn on at all so I went ahead and just got a powered one early it's running out of uh, USB ports but um, I haven't had any trouble with this and uh, yeah so far so good uh, the connector here is a little bit different uh, I, th I was having a little bit of trouble at first but if you just hold it right there either line it up or spin it around easy it's kind of like a magnet and just goes right in so You see the little aux one next to it. I think that's if you're gonna add any controllers. Uh, you can daisy chain them together, controllers or panels. So, who knows? We might try something like that in the future. Cable management is horrible right now, but just bear with me. And it's powered up and lights, camera action. We're good to go and we'll jump right into the software. The well, first issue I had is make sure you go on to Pro and click your device right there. I think that was the first issue I had because when I went to the firmware, it wasn't updating. And I um, clicked it and it was fine. It updated no problem. Once you update your firmware, you can go test all your access and your buttons and uh, save your profile. So once the firmware gets done, I'm sorry, you want to go to a create a profile first so it knows what controller. Also, I believe they recommend that you do one controller at a time and only have one plugged in at a time to save from any confusion. This is a seven step firmware update, but it doesn't really take that long. And then you go to your profile and make sure all your peripherals match up and that you have it saved. This is my left stick, so I'm going to put it on left and then save the profile uh, when I went to do the right one above the stick it still said left so I had to make sure I had to change that uh, that was an issue I didn't realize until we went to go check the access and they weren't working so we had we traced our steps and that was that was the issue so make sure when you go do your next stick whether depending on which one you do first that everything matches up correctly And once it matches up, you need to save the profile. And then you can go in and calibrate and test everything. click axis and the bottom right for calibration so you can check and see everything's working properly All right, now I'm gonna pull my triggers move the stick around pull the handbrake test the z-axis check your thumbsticks And I think the wheel was one of them too, the little mouse, the scroll wheel. 
Everything should be set to 50. I think there was one that was at zero. Which might be the, the little front handbrake under the trigger. And once you do all that, you can go check your buttons under the next tab below. And I think at the time the video I watched, they said one one accident, one button wasn't showing, but uh, when I tested mine, all the buttons showed. So uh, yeah, just make sure you press every single one. It'll be hand handy to revert to if you forget which button is which, um, I suppose. But it's also a lot of buttons to remember, so. I kind of just jumped in the game and started setting up my my buttons as I went and uh, I'm gonna go off memory like that save the profile I don't think I'm gonna have a diagram for it though but go ahead and save once you've calibrated and then on to your button tab and make sure all your buttons are working you can see, uh, I don't have a, my controller up here, but you can see as I'm pressing, which ones are lighting up. And that actually took a little while because I was forgetting some and leaving some out. There's so many on there to get used to initially. and down to LEDs. You can change them all individually uh, right here. But uh, I just wanted all one solid color. So we're gonna go over, if you click the over here, it'll set them all up the same. So you don't have to do them individually. Set ours to blue. And then save the profile. And we're done. And then you just do the same thing for your other controller. Uh, Fairly easy. I, I ran into a few hiccups, but they weren't too bad. It didn't take me too long to figure them out. And um, yeah, here we go. Feel nice and sturdy on the desk mounts. On to the next one. So far, so good. I've played since uh, recorded this video, and uh, they feel really nice. I got a lot of practice and a uh, little bit of getting used to, but they do feel really well. I'm happy with the purchase. I'm glad I went with Verpal. All right, guys. Well, see you in the verse. Till next time. Peace.